हेलो वेलकम टू आन क्यू इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिजायर्ड कैपेबिलिटीज सो व्हाट आर दिस डिजायर्ड कैपेबिलिटीज एंड व्हाई डू वी नीड टू टॉक अबाउट इट एंड हाउ कम दिस डिजायर्ड कैपेबिलिटीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन द एपीएम सो लेट्स गो एंड लर्न अबाउट the importance of desired capabilities and how do we make use of these capabilities with respect to selenium web driver with respect to apm so let's get started basically in the apm the desired capabilities play an important role what is this desired capability the desired capabilities or the strengths or the important information or the configurations required to be configured required to be specified in the selenium web driver script so that the things that we specify in the desired capabilities the apm can read it and understand it and based on that it can create a testing platform for us let me recapture again so when we say desired capabilities it's a set of keys and values it's a set of keys and values what is that meaning it means that we need to specify what is the platform is it android is it ios is it firefox os so platform is the key android is the value and we need to specify the device is it a real device or is it a virtual device so the device name is a key and the android device is a value similar to that the desired capabilities are set of keys and values and why do we need this we need this because we need to configure the mode of testing platform that we required we need to specify what and where we wanted to test about and while we configure while we specify while we indicate that with the desired capabilities in the selenium web driver while we execute that particular script the apm can read it and based on the desired capabilities that we specify it can create a session it can create a session so that it would allow us to execute interact with the mobile devices so since we understand the desired capability let me define and then we would see the different keys and values or the different desired capability elements that we need to specify so whenever we wanted to test the actual mobile device or the virtual device we need to specify that information like what operating system is it android or is it ios or is it firefox os and what version is it kitkat is it below that version is it lollipop we need to specify the versions and we need to specify the application mobile application name the path and we need to specify from where it can be initiated the package or the device name where you wanted to execute do we want to auto launch do you want to wait for until it loads so all these settings to be manipulated all these settings to be represented in a place called desired capabilities so basically desired capabilities is a class and we use that class to represent the things required for us so that the apm can do the same the apm can set up a session with the information that we provided with respect to the desired capabilities and there are so many capabilities but the top most things which are really required for us to get started to implement the mobile based testing are listed in the slide and the class can be initiated with the desired capabilities and the object name is equal to the new desired capabilities such a way we declare the constructor of the class once it is done on that capabilities let me set a capability and that capability is my platform 
If it is Android, we specify Android. If it is iOS, we specify and iOS. And also we need to specify the device name followed by the platform version followed by the device type, browser name, the synchronization timeout. And these are all the different capabilities that we can specify with respect to the desired capabilities. But how do we declare? So this is the primary line indication that we utilize the desired capabilities. So desired capabilities is a class and we declare with the object reference where we initiate that class constructor. Once it is done, on my desired capabilities, let me set, let me set a capability and that capability is my mobile capability. The capability key is platform name. And what is the value? My mobile platform is Android. Similarly, on my capabilities, let me set another capability, the device name. We said Android device, it means that it's a real device. If it is a virtual device, we mention Android emulator. If you say Android device, it means that it's a real device. And then we need to specify the following things required. The automation name. Is it we wanted to go with the APM or the Cylindroid? And what is the platform name? Already we specified. And what is the platform version? Is it Lollipop or KitKat? Is it 4.1, 4.2 or 4.1 or 5.2? We need to specify and the device name so that it can log and report based on the device and the application path which we wanted to execute which we wanted to test which we wanted to implement the actual testing so these are the different desired capabilities that we required so at this point of time nothing to worry each and every capability to remind or to remember but you must know there is a class there is a configuration, there is something that we need to worry about, so-called desired capabilities. And we need to specify these desired capabilities in the Selenium web driver, such that APM or APM can read it and understand based on the configurations that we specified in the desired capabilities and it can create a session. And that session would be enabled for us to interact with the mobile platform, the mobile application. And let me show you some examples how it can be represented in a program. So here is the example. We specify the desired capabilities and capabilities is the object reference which is pointing to the constructor of the desired capabilities. On my capabilities, let me set my platform name, Android. On my capabilities, let me set my device name, emulator. When we say Android emulator, it means that it's a virtual device. And on my capabilities, let me set a capability version. The version is 4.4. .4. On my capabilities, let me load the application. The application nothing but from the path where we specified, get the complete path for it. On my capabilities, I wanted to work with a package. This is my package. On my capabilities, I wanted to work with an activity, launch activity. So this is what we need to specify in the desired capabilities. At the end, it is important to note at the end, on my driver, let me initiate my Android driver with respect to this particular URL where my APM server is sitting and that APM server should read and understand my capabilities. So this way, the APM can open or initiate with these capabilities whatsoever we specified and create a session for us with respect to the corresponding mobile what we wanted to test. So this is all about the desired capabilities. So let me show you once again with another example. Now again the same where we specify the platform, the version and the real device name, the application and the application specification path, the package activity followed by the actual IPM URL followed by the capabilities what we specified.
This way, the APM can read the desired capabilities, what we intend to test about with respect to the things that we mentioned in the desired capabilities in the Selenium web driver. Once the APM reads it, based on these settings, based on these configurations, APM can create a session for us with respect to the mobile device. So let's go. And where do we find these desired capabilities? So the best way to find it is in the APM, the Android settings, where it explains what is the package, what is the activity, and do you want the browser or the device name or the automation name or the platform name. So this is the easiest way that helps us to identify the capabilities of the application, where and which we can specify in the Selenium WebDriver test script. And the APM URL is this. Basically, APM is residing on 127001 at the rate port 4723. And this is what we specify in the script. So this is all about the desired capabilities which we need to utilize, which we need to specify, which is important in every test so that APM can read. Based on that, it can create a session with respect to mobile device and the scripts can be implemented. Since we understand this, let's go and talk about a script, how and where we specify the desired capabilities and how APM can read it and session can be created and how we could implement the methods or the activities like a click or enter a value and do some verifications with respect to mobile device. So at this point of time, the intention is to help you. There is an important concept to call desired capabilities where we need to specify the things required so that APM can read, understand and create a session for us with respect to the mobile platform, with respect to the mobile device, with respect to the application what we specify so that we can continue to test the application with respect to that particular platform, that particular mobile device, with respect to that application which is needs to be installed and tested. So this is all about the desired capabilities. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching the video. So let me summarize in a single line. So we have talked about and understood a concept called desired capabilities. So desired capabilities is a class. That class is important so that we can specify the configurations. We can specify the things required for APM to create a session for us so that we can interact and test the mobile devices and mobile applications. And what are the capabilities? There are so many capabilities like platform, platform name, platform version, device, is it virtual or real, real device, and then the browser, and then the application, and then the synchronization timeout, and much more. Let's not worry about that. The concept is important. And while we take and implement the actual testing, then we know each and every capability which is required to be implemented. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching the video. Please visit onukio.com. There are so many videos, presentations, articles, books, and PDFs with respect to automation, test management, performance testing, and functional testing. So thank you so much, and see you again.